Hey everybody, Brandon from The Chosen Prime here, and I want to wish everybody a belated Thanksgiving. Hope you had a great time. Hope you had a lot of food, good food. And uh, today we're going to take a look at two brand new MPs. Uh, we got MP53 Skids and MP54 Reboost. Uh, as you can see, these are basically the same figure with a different set of accessories. Uh, Reboost being the diacomb version, different head sculpt, um, and again, different accessories. So we'll take a look at these guys. Uh, I'll transform one of them for you so you can kind of see how it works and go from there. First things first, let's get some accessories out of the way. We'll look at skids. He's going to come with his... G1 looking rifle here. Let's see here. We can get it to focus in. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. We got our G1 rifle. This does not move in any way. Just attaches here with the uh, with to his forearm. And then the chrome variant, if you want to go with the more toy accurate look, you got that one as well. Uh, Reboost comes with three options for guns. Same toy, toy variant there for that one. Then you have this forearm gun as well. And uh, we'll see if we can get a closer look at this one. So this is kind of resembles a Rumble Frenzy uh, backpack gun a little bit. And then a regular rifle as well that he can hold in his hands. So you can get a look at that one. This one does appear to fold up as well for whatever purpose that serves. And then Reboost comes with the scooter and the clear rider, which the clear rider is a spike uh remold or not even a remold just a recolor without color uh from what i can tell so this is the same thing the the legs kind of you know want to come off at the knees fairly easy on this little guy but uh definitely sits on the bike easily and and looks good on there uh this bike can we can fold the handlebars on this and put this in the trunk of our reboost here. So you got a pretty good hatch space there. This can fit right inside, like so, and down the hatch, so to speak. So that all fits really well together. Uh, fits in there perfectly. They did a good job with this uh, on these little Honda Cities. And uh, we'll move on to Skids here. Got his signature paint job. We can uh, pop the hood on this guy. So when you want to, when you pop the hood, you just want to pick it up just a little bit, and then you want to pull it forward. So that releases the hinge. Uh, do not try to lift the hood all the way without pulling it forward first. But you have your little Honda engine inside that you can take a look at the detail they've put in there. You got your radiator cap, your distributor wires, all kinds of good stuff in there. And actually, this is one of your steps of the transformation. Or you, if you just like the mirrorless look, you just pop those mirrors down in there and then slide this back into place and again same thing when you when you put it back down you want to slide the hinge backward first before you push the hood all the way down uh, from there we can uh, we can go into transformation this guy's pretty straightforward about what you would expect uh, you're just gonna pull him pull him apart right there make sure you get your hatch clear first before you uh, before you go doing that and then uh, we can start unfolding him. Again, hinged doors right here. So just pull those that way before you uh, try to spread them. And same thing there. You got your hands that are going to come out like this. You're just going to kind of work those through there. 
and fold them out like this. Same thing on this side. Let's see if I can. I've done this exactly one time today, so getting a real fresh look at things. So here's kind of the the guts here, and you're just gonna fold this up like that. The midsection pieces fold up. There's a peg right here that you'll you'll connect to. Sorry. There's a peg you can connect to there on both sides. And then this goes up at, at a 90 like this right here. So you just fold these up. And then there's some slots up in here that you'll be able to connect everything to when you uh, when you knock it down there. But we'll get uh, get the rest of this kind of ready. Head is, is just right up under there. Uh, there's a Here's a good look at the head sculpt on this guy. And then we'll kind of work our way through the rest of this transformation together. So these do pop into place. Um, I think you kind of have to wait, so we'll do that. I'll get the rest of him. Uh, the arms, you just pop these out here and they fold around the tire. Now there's a little there's a little in, uh, cutout on the tire where this tab just drops into to kind of hold this in place, and you just have to find it on there, and then you just turn the shoulder down like that, spin the arm, and you're good to go with that. So we'll do this side as well. Again, find the find the tab and drop it in place. Spin the arm, unfold the full wrist. Oh, I popped it out. So we'll do it again. There we go. Now we're in, arms down, and we basically have most of our upper body. Lower body, we'll kind of bounce around a little here. You just want to free this up a little bit. And all this is going to do is just come around the back and fill in right here and that's that's the extent of that um, this guy is is pretty simple especially for an MP I mean this is is about as simple as I can remember for for an MP figure so got the same thing on that side and you can see that the way that the 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 thigh works is it actually does have an audible click too um, so you know you're you're locked in there and then we'll go to the feet feet just kind of as you pull the toe out the foot extends out and then you can take the heel pop it down roll the wheel to the inside and then again right here you can see this tab and then there's a hole in there and the foot actually has again an audible clip to get in there. So we'll do this one more time. We'll bring this down, bring the heel back here, and fold the wheel under. And then last step, our audible click on the toe. So we'll get back up here to this section. See if we can click this in okay. Let's see if I can do this right. Let's get the backpack out of the way, huh? Let's get that. So what you're going to do is extend this down just a little bit. You can see there's a hinge back here that just barely extends. And then you've got a piece right here that pops into this tab right back here. Sorry about the focus here. Um, but we're just going to just going to pop that in there and that's a wrap on that. It's all nice and tight. Everything, nothing moves. It's it's very firm, like no issue at all there. And skids is complete here. We can take a look at him in his robot form. This guy does not have uh, much for die cast on him at all. Um, I don't. I don't know of any that I can feel 
I haven't spent a whole lot of time with this because we've been really busy, but uh, I just just got it like two hours ago. Wanted to get something up, show you guys. We'll take a look at uh, articulation. He's actually got more than I anticipated. Great ratchets in the in the hips, and I I just didn't didn't know if I saw this coming out of skids to be able to uh, to take some of these poses that he's able to do and and do quite well. Um, he just doesn't seem like a super poseable character to me, but I mean you can see that that there's plenty there to uh, to to do with him. So we've got a got a pretty decent decent figure and and pleasantly surprising uh, from a posability standpoint. So we'll take a look at these weapons. We can equip both of them if you want. So this tab in the back here just goes right into the into the side of the forearm here. And you got your Oh boy, I got the head stuck way down in there. So this is the one thing that I, I don't think I care for here because that does pop out pretty easy when you try to move the head. But as you can see, you've got great waist articulation. And I'll get this head turned the right way here. Get a nice, nice action pose out of it. Uh, looks great. Definitely fills fills a big gap for us in the MP collections. Um, I think uh, I think they did a good job of finding the middle here. While I take a look at his other weapon, you can, you can go with both of them. Uh, I, as I was saying, I, I think they did a good job finding the middle here. Um, I don't know if this figure really warrants uh, both a plus model and a. Uh, if you want to call a uh, toy accurate model. So I, I think I think this kind of hits the middle for me um, I, I'm not I'm not upset that that we don't get a, a plus model or if we don't get a plus model skids I think this one fits in well enough and The reboost obviously we've got a cross cut coming. They're gonna get they're gonna get some use out of this mold uh, one other thing I wanted to take a look at is they did give him a index finger so he's got individual um, individual index finger is the only one that is uh, separate. But I think all in all, I'm I'm actually this was a character I was lukewarm on, a figure I was lukewarm on. Uh, I'm I'm happy with it. It, it turned out really well, and uh, all the detail on it's really good. It's gonna fit right in with with your MP collection. You're gonna be very happy with it, and the playability. Uh, with the transformation being as simple as it is, uh, it is is sky high for me. So I hope you enjoy the video. We got tons of stuff coming in this week, but this guy and Reboost both will be uh, available on the website by the time this video is up and running. So hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you again soon.